Hello and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Light fingered Larry. Wanted. Have you seen this naughty octopus? Light fingered Larry was an octopus. He lived in the sea and he liked collecting things, other people's things. He was a robber. Every night he slept on a bed of seaweed in his underwater den surrounded by stolen treasure. Every day he went out, sneaking about, taking things that weren't his and putting them in his net of loot. His eight arms were constantly up to mischief. If it wasn't tied down, he'd snatch it. If no one was looking, he'd grab it. If it was there for the taking, he'd nick it. Oh, he was a bad, bad octopus. He stole Captain Rosie's washing off the line. Nickety, nickety, nick, nick, gone. He pinched the pond children's jam tarts. Nickety, nickety, nick, nick, gone. He snaffled Boz the beaver's tools. Nickety, nickety, nick, nick, gone. As slippery as you like, those sly tentacles took things and stashed them away. Now, Kiki Koala ran the jolly tugboat in. Travellers came from far and wide to stay there, and Kiki worked hard to make everybody happy. One day she was busy in the kitchen. Ding dong! went the bell at the desk, so Kiki went to answer it. But somebody was watching. As soon as Kiki was gone, up popped a sneaky tentacle through the window, then another, then another. Larry took the food, the pots, the pans, the lot. Nickety, nickety, nick, nick, gone, gone, gone. But as he made off with her things, Kiki came back. Stop, thief! she cried. As fast as his tentacles could carry him, Larry escaped with the loot. Somebody stop that octopus, squeaked Kiki. Everybody came to help her. Stop! Nickety, nickety, nick, nick. Gotcha! Officer Pavani locked Larry in jail. You'll stay here with me until you learn not to be naughty, he said. But light-fingered Larry had other ideas. With a slick, sneaky move, he snatched the officer's keys, let himself out and made his getaway. Stop! cried Officer Panvani. Larry grabbed the loot, ran away and jumped into the sea. Splash! Down and away he swam with his net of swag. Hee hee! He chuckled. They'll never catch me. Larry was feeling pretty clever until he got stuck. Larry was snagged on the jaggedy daggers. He was tangled there by his own bag of swag. Now he wasn't feeling quite so clever. He began to cry, help! The animals held the end of the net and pulled and pulled and whoosh! Up came the net, Larry and all the loot. Larry was glad to be safe and he felt very sorry for what he'd done. He gave back all of the things he'd taken and he did his best to make amends. He noticed Kiki was very busy so he offered to help. It turned out that Larry was a natural in the kitchen. Kiki was so impressed that she gave him a job. Larry didn't miss his robber's den. He had friends now, and to Larry, friends were much more precious than any amount of stolen loot stashed at the bottom of the sea. Larry gave everyone their things back. Well, nearly everyone. Officer Pavani never did find his missing keys. Because somebody was holding on to them, just in case. The end. Thank you for listening. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.